Hello everyone. In this video I am going to show you how to generate a signal in MATLAB. Um, first we uh, specify the signal parameters uh, randomly for example F. Uh, you can put FS for example sampling frequency fs as uh, 1000 number of samples we would like to have 1000 amplitude can be for example 3 frequency of the signal it can be 20 and the phase of the signal can be uh, for example pi over And uh, our signal is x equal a or amplitude multiply sinus to multiply F multiply T plus phase okay. uh, so we have Now we will uh, implement this in MATLAB. Like all programs, uh, bef uh, we should start uh, before you start to write the program. Try to clean all your uh, windows by clear all, close all, for closing all uh, windows in your uh, MATLAB and CLC for cleaning your command window too. Next step, we should uh, introduce our uh, our signals parameters. So uh, f f were one thousand uh, f s plus frequency sampling frequency number of uh, uh, samples can as a 1000 amplitude uh, could be 2 we choose frequency of the signal as 20 and our phase was uh, pi uh, over So we can put some comments to easily understanding the codes as signal parameters. Next step, uh, we should uh, choose our sample period. So sample period. So I should choose dt for this and dt is 1 over uh, fs and uh, later we should uh, 
choose over sampling uh, vector sampling vector over sampling vector mbt start uh, from zero to uh, uh, n But it should be dt because the sample for you is dt, and it should be minus one because uh, if you want to start from zero, we will have a one thousand one sample, but we want to have one thousand sample in our case, so that's why we put minus one uh, to have exactly one thousand sample. Next, we specify our signal A multiply sinus 2 pi F by T plus pH for phase. Okay, let's see, it is pi F. Next step, we should plot our t signal, our x signal. So then we can put like by dashes. Also, we can specify title for our signal. We can put signal it is x t we can put some x label for our signal or x signal is every time in time mm, yeah, our y y label can be oh it is actually <laughs> ampli uh, amplitude okay uh, I forgot to save the program mm. okay let's see the program Okay, this is our signal. Uh, as you see, we have, uh, we should have, uh, we should have, uh, our frequency should be 20. Okay, we can see when here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have. 20 circle per second so our frequency completely is shown in our figure uh, we have a f uh, phase uh, pi over 2 that's so clear but I will show you in a moment uh, about phase differences and we have uh, 1000 uh, samples we can count because I, I put some uh, dots to be shown how, how many uh, sample do we have in our figure and uh, let's add another signal on this signal to see differences more better so I will write hold on to see uh, both uh, signals in same figure and uh, we can say for example plot or we can copy paste from the signal and change the parameters uh, for example uh, we can put here instead of pi over 2 we can put uh, pi over 4 and uh, plot the signal Okay. I can 
will show the uh, next signal uh, by a red color let's see again as you see okay we have the same signal just we have a different phase and uh, almost uh, everything is the same and our signal uh, uh, works correctly well and next uh, I would like to say some uh, things about the fake explanation um, uh, assume we have a signal so let's see uh, uh, let's check a phase shift so we have a signal like this this is our signal start by 0 pi over 2 or we can say it is equal to 90 here should be 180 270 and 360 think uh, start like this circle is our starting point we have 90 degree 180 degree and a 360 degree so let's we have another uh, now we want to have a uh, phase shift uh, by pi over 2 so all the points should move pi over 2 uh, degree to the left uh, this point should come here and uh, this point comes here so we have this point this point 270 this point should come here and this point should come here so our signal over okay, it should be something like this now we can say that we have uh, a phase shift and uh, if when two signals differ in a phase uh, by minus 90 or uh, uh, plus 90 degree as we has here uh, they are said to be in phase uh, quadrator but when uh, two fav waves differ in phase by 180 degrees uh, the waves are said to be in phase uh, opposition and, uh, uh, and also uh, the wave uh, depicted by the um, uh, blue color uh, leads the wave the represented by the uh, red line uh, 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 by 90 degree Thank you for watching and bye.